Welcome back to another weekly video, you guys. This week we're talking about photography, real estate photography, if you couldn't read that previous title. Last week I went up to Helby Island with Nick, he's a realtor here on the island. Yeah, it was my job to take all the photos, do some 3D tour, a video and some drone footage. So basically I, I tried to vlog and do my job at the same time. It was really, really difficult. So the vlog is kind of in pieces, but where there's parts missing, I'll jump in and I'll explain what's going on. Let's just dive right into 8 a.m. on Friday morning when Nick picked me up. Good morning, you guys. It is, uh, what day is it today? Friday. Uh, it is Friday. It is Friday. It's, it's early in the morning, a little bit tired, but I'm actually here with Nick. He is a realtor and we are heading up island to Hilby Island. Uh, it's close to Banfield. I'll throw up a map on the screen. But today we have a listing up there, it's Nick's listing, and I'm gonna be photographing it and doing the drone stuff, some video stuff. Basically, I just wanna show you guys behind the scenes of what I do uh, when I'm doing these photo jobs. And yeah, just bring you guys along, so. We are Finally in Banfield after almost four hours of driving on not so ideal terrain, but we're here in Banfield. This is the final destination before the island. Um, this is as far as we can bring the car, the, the Sprinter van. And now we're just waiting for kind of like a taxi service here to take us to the island. Just got Harry out with me today and we're gonna go uh, photograph this uh, five and a half acre parcel out on Helby Island. Super special property, um, you know, gorgeous West Coast feel right off the beach, catch springs and coho, and uh, we're just actually waiting for our boat transport to get out there today from uh, Banfield. It's about mm, two nautical miles from the, from the dock here, and yeah, then we're out to this property. So this is the part of the vlog where it gets very janky. It got very stressful here. It was very tough trying to get off the boat onto Helby Island. And then once we did make it on, the, the boat driver said he'd be back in an hour and a half, and we got up to the house, the door was locked. We were trying to get into the house. That took 20 minutes. I pulled out my camera, started taking photos first. So when I'm taking these photos, I use a technique called bracketing. What it does is you can set your brackets to take a certain amount of photos at different exposures. So when you bring that back into post, you can merge those photos together and create a really nice kind of HDR photo of whatever you took. The house was about 1500 square feet, I think. I'm not sure. But for something that size, I would take maybe 25 to 30 photos. Once photos are done, I moved on to taking some video and that is done with my A7S II. That's just basic 60 frames per second. I slow that down in post. For each property, I make a video and that video is about a minute long. It just consists of more of the best angles around the house and just some standout points that the realtor might want in that video. After the video is done complete, I move on to 3D tour and that is done. The 3D tour is done using this. This is a Theta Z1, Theta Rico Z1, I believe, or something like that. I'll link it down below. This is a 3D camera, and basically I just connect this to my phone with the Matterport app. Um, and yeah, I can just click a button on my phone and it takes a 3D scan. And I just move this around the house and I can create a 3D tour. So yeah, 3D tours have become very popular recently because because of COVID, people aren't really going to view houses as often as they were, so 3D tours have become very important recently. And then last but not least, it was drone time. I put the drone up in there. It's just my DJI Mavic Mini. Nothing special, just some HD 2.7K video files, and I just put those together in Premiere Pro with the video. That is usually what you'll find for a package around Canada. I'm not too sure about other countries, but that is pretty standard. So yeah, there you guys have it. Now you know kind of how to take real estate photos, but how do you actually get it out there and start taking these real estate photos for clients? First of all, you're gonna need a full frame camera. You're gonna need a 16 millimeter wide angle lens at least. You're gonna need a tripod and probably a gimbal. That will get you started. What I suggest you do is start practicing in your own home, in your own apartment, in your own bedroom. You can even go to a friend's house, ask them if you can practice taking photos of their property and putting it into your portfolio online. Then you can produce that portfolio to just companies. You can walk into real estate agencies. You can contact agents online on Instagram. There are agents literally everywhere. So you can do it. Um, it just takes a little bit of effort, some practice, but with all of that together, you can 
take some awesome real estate photos and you can make a living doing this. Anyways, that was a lot of information. I, I hope you guys kind of understood that. I hope this all makes sense to you. If you do have any more questions, drop them down in the comments below. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for stopping by. Make sure to like this video, go subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one.